Eric Surf 6 and welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. And brrr, is it cold in Japan? It was one degree Celsius when I woke up this morning. But fortunately, vending machines in Japan have hot drinks and hot soups. So, I'm going to buy this one. This one is a uh, tomato spicy soup. Yep. And I'm gonna pay with my IC card. Maybe. That worked. It worked. There you go. All right, that's the first one. The next one's up on the train platform. All right, this machine's got more kinds of soup. Look at this right here. This is clam soup. This one is uh, onion consomme. This one is, I'm not sure what this one is. Corn, this is corn pottage. And this one is also corn pottage, right? Kabocha, this is pumpkin. Yeah, and this one over here is some sort of potato. Sweet potato, yeah. All right, let's make the transaction. My train's coming, gotta hurry. It's giving me change. I have to buy them one by one. Mendoksai, that's inconvenient. Pumpkin. This is the one I'm really looking forward to. Pumpkin. Oh, machigaita. I accidentally bought the hot lemon tea, but that, that's a good one actually. This isn't soup, it's hot lemon tea. But this is a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one too. 140 yen. Price for these is either 130 yen or 140 yen. That's about a dollar and a quarter. Pretty good price. Sweet potato, oops, this isn't soup, this is a drink actually. Oh well, we'll make the best of it. Okay, so the first one's gonna be spicy tomato soup. I've never had this one before, I'm looking forward to it. And it's got little bits of carrot inside it too, so yeah. Let's get into it. Oh, this is nice guys. It's pretty thick surprisingly, even though it's, um. It looks watery, but yeah, thick. The spice level's just about right. Mmm. There's the carrots. They look they look more like beans. That's the carrot right there. So it's carrots and beans inside. Man. The beans are uh, okay. The beans are okay. It's nice though that the beans are in it. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of uh, meatiness. Even though beans aren't meat. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Let's go to another location. Oh. All right, I hit the jackpot. I found another one. Look at this. This is miso soup. Can. Miso soup in a can. Oh, check out this machine. This is the digital version, but these are all the same. I've already just bought all of these, so. Yeah, maybe next time. All right, anybody thirsty? Let's have some soup. I'm getting so hot with these soups in my pocket. Oh. Okay, many of you have asked about the IC cards that are in Japan. This is the Suica type. There's two or three companies that do these, and this is probably the most popular one. I've had this for probably 15 years. And this is their character, the penguin, right here. And check it out. It's right here. This is it. This is the penguin. Hello, buddy. Always rub their bellies for good luck. The next one's going to be pumpkin soup. Or pumpkin potage, pottage, pottage. Pottage is like soup, right? Okay, here we go. How does it look? They got the color right, don't they? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Sweet. Really thick. Surprisingly thick. Oh. Very rich taste. This is delicious. Mm. Wow. Oh. 
unbelievable. I don't know how they do it. This is the best pumpkin soup I've ever had. I think this is the only pumpkin soup I've ever had. Mm. Yum. This one I'm really looking forward to. This is little clams, shijimi they're called in Japanese. I wonder if they're still in the shell, huh? That'd be interesting. And this one's particularly interesting because, right here, it says it's good for hangovers. Look at that. Good for hangovers, yeah. Clams all over his sweatshirt. You're welcome. Here we go. I wonder if I should have shaken it up first. I'm gonna shake it up. Now it's all over my pants. I think this video is over. All right, here we go. Clam soup, everybody. Ah, really salty. It's horrible. It's making my eyes water. There's no clams in it. And probably they're down at the bottom, but I don't even want to go that far. But this is Eric meal time. Got to go all the way. Full send. Shout out to the Nelk boys. I think I'm going to be sick before this video is over. Still no clams. This is really disappointing. And it's watery too. It's just, it's not happening. This is a total jip. Total jip. This should be on the most wanted list. Totally false advertising. There are no clams in here. Tastes like clams, yes. They got the flavor right, but there's no meat. Where's the beef? Not happening. The next one's going to be corn pottage soup, and this one is a winner. It's been in Japan for a long time. I've had this before. It's good. But the question is, will it have corn in it or not? I'm hoping it does. Again, it's another, it, these are all watery in appearance, but I guess if you pour it out, it's, it's really thick. Let's just drink it. I mean, since it's a drink, they have to make it sort of not too thick, right? I, I would think. Oh. Creamy goodness. Mmm. Mmm. It's got corn in it. It's got corn in it. Oh yes, jackpot. This is good. This is best. Oh, so good. And the corn is surprisingly fresh, sweet, delicious. This is a winner, guys. This is a winner. All right. The next one, the next one is miso soup. Miso soup in a can. This is rare because you can get miso soup everywhere in Japan, but not very often in a can. I've never seen it before in a can. Yeah, this is a first. Crack it. I'm wondering if it's gonna have the tofu in it or not. The little squares of tofu chunks, tofu chunks. Hmm. Not bad. It tastes a little processed. I've had really good miso soup in Japan, so I wasn't really expecting much from this. It's acceptable. But go to a restaurant to have miso soup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I feel wiped out. I feel like the soups defeated me. Alright, let's go. I gotta catch my train.